Good afternoon, South Africa. Welcome to Afternoon Express. I'm Bonnie Mbouli. And I'm Jeannie D. Now, it's another Fashion Thursday on Afternoon Express. And today, we sit down with one of our most celebrated designers. He's honestly one of the most talented guys. He's an amazing friend and he's yep. an absolute gem. It is Gavin, Gavin Raja. Raja. He is a household name in the world of fashion. And we will be chatting to him about how he's managed to last this long and also take a look at his brand new collection. Absolutely. And we also head out to Kylie Chat to check out the Kylie Chat Fashion Week, where young local designers from the township are giving the chance to showcase their talents. Plus, it's the next installment in our Capsule Wardrobe series, which continues as we speak to fashion director Kelly Fong about the unstructured jacket. It's a tasty show today on Afternoon Express. My name is Daniela Christo. Clem is with us in the kitchen today. And oh my gosh, are we ready for a Thursday? Not only do we have main course set out for you, we've got dessert sorted as well. And I'll tell you what starters are a little bit later too. So what is main course first? Let's start there. We're going to be making nudies. Oh, Clem, that's not for the show, right? That's for evening shows. Careful, Clem. I know, I know, but I'll explain myself a little later. Oh. Okay. So if you want to know what a nudie is, I guess you're going to have to wait and see. You don't have to send your kids to the bedroom. Promise. Should I start, should I start unbuttoning? I, let's not. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's for dessert? How about you a... Let's start unbuttoning. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> what is we're for doing, We're going to do like a beautiful little fruit dairy jelly. It's going to be amazing. Oh, delicious. Yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Lots of really cool recipes on the show today. So you're going to have to stay glued to your TV screens between now and five o'clock this afternoon. So eventually we've got main course and we've got dessert. What about starters? Well, Gavin Raja's on the couch. So Gavin Raja, I mean, just the name is synonymous with high-end fashion in South Africa. Starting off almost 20 years ago, designing at home, he has built a brand that is showcased all over the world, including prestigious fashion weeks in Europe and here at home. And now he's venturing into a new avenue of design interiors. Welcome. Wow. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having me. So you started studying forensic law and then was doing the fashion as a side hustle. Um, yeah, eventually... so I suppose whilst my friends were kind of uh, wanting to be waiters or, you know, doing all those kind of weird things of donating body parts, I decided, well, <laughs> maybe I'd sell some, um, uh, some fashion to some of the guys at Rez. Plus, so you started. would actually make these garments yourself? Um, so I had a very interesting kind of way of doing this. I had, my dad was in the fashion industry, and so I would kind of buy some of the rejects and the things that were he was making then on sell these things and eventually when that ran out I found someone that who stayed pretty close to Rez and, and I, I could sketch a little bit and I kind of just was, was doing things that I thought I would like Yeah. and turned out, you know, people liked it. And so. now you've built an empire. Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness you didn't become a forensic. I mean, could you imagine what your life uh, would have been like? Yeah. How boring. <laughs> How gory. <laughs> oh, and now your life is so full of colour and you are so ridiculously talented. I mean, the other day on, you know, Facebook brings you those memories. <laughs> and do you remember that first outfit that you designed for me for the day we made, like, t I think it was 12 years oh, ago. It was ages ago, yeah. So, but, I mean, you just keep on reinventing yourself. I mean, what what is that little magic in you that just you you stay fresh? Because every time I look at your collections, I just go, oh, how does this man do it? Yeah. I think what you have to do, I think, with anything, uh, you know, uh, when I made that decision to go into fashion, it was actually a very good friend of mine who just said to me, you know, you've just got to be happy, um, and you've got to do what makes you happy. And when I look back now, I think that was just that kind of Oprah moment of yeah. being happy. Mm. So. I think if you're happy, you go to work each day and it's not a mission. Yeah. Um, you feel inspired. I'm constantly inspired by the people around me, the people that work with me. Um, and, I, and I think I want to make it so that I don't get tired of it. I think when I do get tired of it is when I have to say, you know, I'm out of here. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And now you've extended your brand and branched out to events with Red Gavin Raja concept mm. and interiors. And you've partnered with a, a homeware store. So tell us about this new venture. Um, so obviously, you know, good Indian boys don't always grow up to be dressmakers. So uh, <laughs> my parents were kind of uh, influential in trying to say, you know, go and study marketing. And then I started the f uh, event company. And, you know, of course, to then I did Fashion Week, the flower show, I used to own all of those things. Um, and I think one of the things when I was doing events was creating experiences. And mm. experiences were like simple things like, you know, a couch, uh, mm. textures, fabrics. and 
it was almost a natural progression. So I was doing these things for our events and then clients would ask me to do it and I'd stocked a bit of it in our studio. And so uh, along came a mass retailer who said, look, you know, we kind of like this and Lovely. we like where you were going with it and so we want to take it into a commercial space. So now it takes a collection into making it a little bit more accessible for people. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. I always think, you know, there's, there's that saying that you always have the same amount of hours in the day as Beyonce because when you see how busy she is. <laughs> but you are so ridiculously busy as well mm. and you work so hard. Now, when do you get, to, firstly, to fit the time in to do everything? And also, you do a lot of philanthropic work as well. Mm. You're also an ambassador for UNICEF. I think one of the things I, I try and do is make sure that my day is very, very kind of busy. Um, um, and when I say busy, I'm, I'm constantly, I, I need to be kind of doing things. I, yeah. I really can't sit around being bored. In fact, I, I don't know when last I've taken a holiday. Wow. And my concept of taking a holiday is maybe, you know, flying somewhere. And, and working from and there. And working <laughs> from there. But, uh, I think what I want to do is constantly be inspired and so mm -hmm. you know if whether it's be learning things or teaching um, very big into trying to do that with a younger generation but I think it's important because if you constantly try and innovate or recreate things or, or do things uh, then your passion is constantly being mm. fueled yeah you know? uh, and, and where do you think South African fashion is at and where is it going and what's exciting you about its future you know, I think uh, the one thing about South African fashion is that uh, we, and I think with anything in the creative industry, we need to be a little bit more supportive of one another. Mm -hmm. I think there are a lot of things about the country which is, uh, you know, as a fledgling democracy, and I think it's still fledgling, we kind of all finding ourselves, but in finding ourselves, sometimes we also tend end up destroying ourselves and we end up destroying other people. But I think one of the new things that's emerging is this kind of, process of collaboration because without collaboration and working with one another we we really where are we who are we mm. you know we mm. can't, we don't work in vacuums mm -hmm. um, and so I think I'm excited when I see the new kind of things that are coming out I think there's a diverse representation of many things on the catwalk ranging from people of color to people of various kind of things that uh, you know, taste in fashion, whether it be, you know, deconstructionist, you mm. know, conceptual, whatever, or even fashion as art, you know, yeah, so absolutely. that's interesting because it's a kind of calibration of how far forward we're moving as a yeah. society. Well, listen, everything that you touch turns to fabulous and every single dress that I've ever bought of yours is literally a piece of art. Well, it's not difficult. So. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. We're going to be seeing some amazing designs a little bit later. We will be back with more from Gavin later on when she, he shows us some of his pieces from his latest collection. But after the break, from established to top up, top up and coming, check out the Kylie Jenner Fashion Week, where young designers from the townships are given the platform to show off what they can do.
A warm welcome back to Afternoon Express. We are live on SABC3 on this Thursday afternoon. How would you like to win a home? Every Friday on Afternoon Express, it's Win a Home. SA's premier interior design reality competition proudly brought to you by Private Property. If you vote for your favorite design duo, you stand a chance of winning the grand prize, a home at the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate with finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone and premier appliances by Grundig to the total value of, listen to this, 3 million rand. You're also automatically entered into a win the incredible prizes in the bi-weekly giveaway. The latest prize that we've got up for grabs for you is the Sealy Queen mattress and base set valued at over 14 and a half thousand rand. It's at 14 triple nine. So get your entries in right now. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. SA's favorite interior design reality competition, Winner Home, sees three design duos transform empty spaces into lavish homes, and one of them could be yours. To enter, visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. Put yourself in line to win amazing prizes in the bi-weekly draw and automatically be entered for a chance to win the grand prize, your choice of one of three fully designed homes in the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate in the south of Joburg. The finished property will include luxurious finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone, as well as premier home appliances by Grunding with a total prize value of more than 3 million rand. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Watch the breathtaking properties come to life as the design drama unfolds and stand a chance to win the biggest prize on South African television, your very own dream home. When we think of fashion design, most of us intuitively begin envisioning the opulent catwalks of Paris and Milan. Now, local design and local communities often get left out of the fray. But what if I told you that there was homegrown South African talent living not just in our city centres, but thriving in our country's often less visible townships? Enter Kailicha Fashion Week, an opportunity for the brightest and most creative amongst us to live out their dreams of fashion stardom. Afternoon Express takes you behind the scenes of an inspired event. Take a look at this. Kailicha Fashion Week aims to showcase the creative talent found in our country's townships. Too often forgotten, the fashion design community in one of South Africa's largest townships is very much alive and well. Kailicha Fashion Week is a platform that is made for local designers from Kailicha and surrounding areas. It started uh, last year in 2016. reason behind was uh, to expose and to develop and uh, to prepare them for a bigger platform. We make sure that when we call for application, first thing that we do, we make sure that we have a business seminar for them so that they can be helped like how to grow your business, how to, to identify your customers as a fashion designers so that they can grow their business. And they're only using uh, social networks to market their business. So as Kailicha Fashion Week, we make sure that we go with them to other media house to talk about Kailicha fashion week and what are, are they will be offering to the fashion show. We've got lots and lots of talented individuals around Kailicha, around Capelet. So this is a platform for each and everyone out there who loves fashion to come and meet and actually do something about the fact that they love fashion. And we also give a platform to, to, to young musicians who are still upcoming to come and, and perform. You never know who's looking. So this is a great, great platform to each and every young designer, young artist to come and just showcase what their mama gave them. Not solely a platform for fashion, Kailicha Fashion Week's credo is to build sustainable businesses, empower disadvantaged persons, and uplift a community by imparting tools necessary for success. The reason why we started this brand, we come from disadvantaged backgrounds. We were sitting, looking around our communities. Then we thought, let's do something to improve um, our living, not only depend on the government. And then what came in mind is it's a brand. We decided the name Trending. Um, the name Trending, it's, it's, it's relevant, not only today, but tomorrow as well. And it has three dots. Those three dots mean you start small and get bigger and bigger and bigger and flourish in life. 
there are people out, out there who feel inferior about themselves. So we are trying to, 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 to improve the self-awareness. Self there is a phrase that says, if you look good, then you feel good. So we are trying to make everyone to feel good with a quality and affordable and a stylish wear. If you buy something from Training Three Dots, you are not only helping me, but you are helping a brother who's standing at the corner. Because the more we get uh, um, demands, the more we'll hire people. As, as we're speaking now, I have one intern under my name, which is a professional traffic designer. I had that person, he was a graduate, unemployed graduate. Now we are trying to, 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 to create jobs for those people as well. I love bags. And you know, people used to ask me, where do you get that? Then I decided that, okay, why not? Let me go for fashion thing and let me see how it's going to do. So I started doing it part time and you know, the response was very good. Then I just said, okay, then let me make it something which I love and somebody else will love and I can also make it as a business. With Aaron Kailich Fashion Week, the beautiful thing about it, it's an exposure and it's proudly South Africans. And we can actually showcase what we can do. We don't have to go and buy something overseas to look beautiful. You can actually buy from a local designer and still look stunning, still look beautiful, still look elegant. What I always stand behind is to commodifying local cultures. You know, um, things like this, events like this, they bring people to us, they bring people to a Kailicha. People get to experience what Kailicha is all about. It just shows people that we can do these things, that we are all about these things, and we are also just on those levels. So it basically brings the world to a Kailicha and exposes the Ka Kailicha to the world. It is very important to, to actually support the local industry because without our support, it's, it's not going to grow. I feel like even retail stores that are based in South Africa should start outsourcing from our local designers because in that way, we're promoting business. In that way, we're giving jobs to the people at home who don't have jobs. In that way, if a designer can be able to sell their clothes at a big retail store in South Africa, that means they're going to be able to employ more people. The more people we employ, the more the more money we're going to generate, the more um, people we're going to feed. I think that's why it's so important to support South African first, and then you can support international. That's optional as well. In five years to come, we just want to have our own uh, shops so that will be offering our local brands. And in, in, in seven years to come, we just want to be showcasing in South Africa. And then in 10 years to come, we just want to be showcasing in Africa. Fashion is a tool to revitalize and transform. And with this year's Kailicha Fashion Week, the success it was, the future of township design looks bright. Africa, watch out. Africa, watch out, watch out indeed. And how's that for a dose of Thursday inspiration? I'm so excited to see events like this happening. An event truly doing powerful things to engage and encourage creative expression and helping many too often left behind men and women realize their dreams along the way. So, so cool. Listen, you might be wondering what's coming up on the show still after the break. We get cooking in the kitchen as Chef Clem is combining jelly and yogurt to make a treat that's sure to be a hit with the kids. Stay right where you are.
Janelle is now duo. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now it's time to double the happiness in the Afternoon Express kitchen this afternoon with Clover and Clem. Now most of you will recognize our key ingredient, the velvety smooth Clover Danau. But what you may not know is that this fusion of flavors is undergoing a current evolution and is now known as Clover Duo. Now let's get down to having some fun in the kitchen with Clem's Clover Duo Jelly Bowls. Now this dairy fruit mix gives uh, an, a wonderful, beautiful, unique flavor that makes these jelly bowls an instant hit with almost any fruit filling. Absolutely. Sounds fun. And I mean, the duo is a combination of the goodness of dairy and what we love so much about fresh fruit. So Delicious. it's all in there. So you know you're getting it all in. It's packed Yay. full of calcium, vitamin A, B, C, D, and just for fun, E, right? <laughs> so we're going to throw, you chuck that in there today with our beautiful jellies. So okay. you're going to pass me anyone. <clears throat> you go crazy. Oh, wait. I want to choose a really good, which is my favourite tropical fruit. Mm, yeah. There we go. There awesome. Go. So what you're going to do, we actually, we're actually we going to turn these into jellies. Okay. So, I mean, the one thing about kids, and let's not even say kids, about adults as well, if you can change the texture of something that they're used to having, like, on a normal daily basis, they're yeah. going to be interested. They're going to want it. Yeah. Right? So let's just get that in there. Just Definitely. like that, and that's going to start heating up. Okay. And let's talk about the gelatine, which is actually going to be the agent that sets the jelly. I'm going to pass this back okay. to you first. There you go. So, so this is how to make jelly, other than just buying a packet of jelly. Gotcha. Yeah, So exactly. this is the, okay. This is the guy. Gelatine amazing. right there. Great. That's amazing. I didn't know that. What do you, like... I, I didn't know that this I is I can what see your mind's working. It's like, wait. Let's turn that into a jelly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that too. <laughs> okay, Can cool. I try this? Um... I'm not going to say no because it's ready in your mouth. Okay, it's, it's what, flavorless. What's it going to do? It's flavorless, right? It doesn't do anything besides it's going to uh, might just turn, turn you into jelly. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. So what you need to do is to actually activate it, you pop it into cold water. Oh. Okay? okay. And then after it goes super jelly, it's like that. See, this is really nice. Do you want to eat that as well? No, it's quite no. fun to play with. It it's is, just one it of really those is. textures that you want to play with all the time. Absolutely. Ooh, so I like it. from that, once it's nice and jelly, you're going to pop it into your solution. Yeah. And the heat that's actually in the pan is going to dissolve it completely. How many pieces do you put in there? I just do one. Oh, just one. one. That's enough. Now, now we've got another one. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Just, we'll use that okay. for something. Yeah. So what you're going to do is gently just like shake it, stir it around in the pan. Okay. Until that gelatine melts. And it melts very quickly. Okay, okay cool. does it really? The big thing with gelatine, okay, but it actually takes about five minutes to go soft in the oh, water. Okay, well, there big you thing go. about we'll gelatine, people, <laughs> people think that if you pop it in the freezer, it's going to turn into jelly faster. The opposite's going to happen. Oh, is that so? It's actually going to let it, like, it's going to take even longer. So to yeah. leave it in the fridge, practice your patience, and then it'll set. Okay. So we are looking good. Amazing. So, like, just to be a little different, we're going to serve it in a martini glass. We actually want to let it cool down slightly. Just for a little bit. So we've actually gone and we've like created a little bit of like a little little cocktail. If you yeah. can look at it. Skewered some fruit on there. I've just used these little skewers. There's some blueberries, some raspberries, whatever's in season right now. Because we're just looking to add a little more to the five a day. You this know what I mean? This is such a fun, fun recipe. And of course, if you want the, all the recipe details as well, all you need to do is SMS the keyword Clover to double three six five zero, And uh, of course, it'll be SMS to you and you will get all of these fantastic recipe details. Absolutely. I'm so excited that to take it. Now, how long will it take to sit? About four hours. Have some patience. Okay. For the best result, do it the night before. Oh, exactly. Yeah. This is fantastic. I can't wait. Well, cheers. This, we can have our jelly that you kind of set already. There you go. Thank you so much. Cheers. Fabulous. While we tuck into our fabulous jelly, you can have a look at a quick recap. <laughs> is now duo made with love by clover 
Now listen, every Friday and afternoon, Express, it's time for Winner Home. It's a premier interior design reality competition proudly brought to you by Private Property. And if you vote for your favorite design duo, you stand a chance of winning the grand prize, which is a home at the Eye of Africa Gulf and Residential Estate with finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone and premier appliances by Grundig to the total value of 3 million rand. You also automatically get entered into uh, winning the incredible prizes in the bi-weekly prize giveaway. The latest prize up for grabs is a Sealy Queen mattress and base set valued at 14 triple nine. So get your entries in now. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. SA's favorite interior design reality competition, Winner Home, sees three design duos transform empty spaces into lavish homes, and one of them could be yours. To enter, visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. Put yourself in line to win amazing prizes in the bi-weekly draw and automatically be entered for a chance to win the grand prize, your choice of one of three fully designed homes in the Eye of Africa Gulf and Residential Estate in the south of Joburg. The finished property will include luxurious finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone, as well as premier home appliances by Grunding with a total prize value of more than 3 million rand. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Watch the breathtaking properties come to life as the design drama unfolds and stand a chance to win the biggest prize on South African television, your very own dream home. Do you want a taste of what life could be like as the winner of Win Home? Then make your way to Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate in the south of Joburg on Sunday the 24th of September from 10 a.m. for their Heritage Day Festival. There will be food and craft stores and great fun for the whole family. Our three winner home units will also be open to view so you can step inside and experience the biggest prize on South African television for yourself. For festival and ticket information, visit eyeofafrica.co.za and we'll see you there. Now listen, still to come on the show after the break, we're bringing nudies to daytime television. Nudies to daytime television. If you want to know more, you better stay tuned.
A warm welcome back to Afternoon Express. We are live on SABC3. We've made dessert and it's now time for main course. Now, Afternoon Express is all about inspiration, especially when it's art and things of beauty that inspire us. And when it involves food, you can imagine how excited that gets us. The artistry and originality, not to mention the beauty of Caesar Stone, has led us to the kitchen for a dish prepared by our very own Clem Pedro, who was inspired by the frosty Carina. Uh, so what will you be preparing for us today, Clem? Because we hear that it's got the word nude in it. Exactly. Before we talk about that, I just want to apologize because my phone's busy going real mad right now in my pocket about a certain someone who's been nominated for a presenter award. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh, that is so kind. Not only had a cook, you had to like, you know, heat things up in the kitchen too. That's so orcs. Thank uh, you very much, Clint. So thank we you. wish you all the best of luck. We will be voting. Thank you very much. And we know much. that our viewers out there will be doing the same. And thank you so much for all the love and support. Yeah, I'm very, very excited to see that I was nominated among some of the biggest names on television. So I'm feeling very honored. Thank you. Now, can we eat to celebrate? Again, my phone has been blowing up again during the ad break. It's my mom. She called me. She was like, <laughs> Clem, your dad and I raised you correctly. We're not too sure about this nudie thing on TV. Yeah, I made a mention before the ad break that we've got nudies on the show today. I don't know if you guys are ready for them nude on the daytime television. But let's talk about it. Okay. Nudie is Italian for actually what you think it is. Nude. So ah. earlier this week, we made some beautiful tortellini and ravioli, which as we know, it's a stuffed pasta. Nudies are naked Ravioli. Oh, I see. They don't have the pasta and on outside. them. Outside. Okay. So let's have a look at it over there, but let's start, put it together. It's very, very easy. As we know, Italian food is all about the simplest ingredients, best quality. Mm -hmm. Same thing, just like Caesar Stone. Okay, I love it. And what's so cool about Caesar Stone is I've, obviously my journey with them has helped me realize that they get inspired by natural elements, and so is the dish you're making today. It's inspired by all yes. those natural colors and the nudes mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. Which so is what awesome. I've done is I've taken inspiration from the frosty carina, as you call it. Mm -hmm. I love the beautiful um, marble that we've got there and with a little bit of the accent of the vein running through there. So I went for a white dumpling using our ricotta, and I thought, let's add some color to it. Spinach. Stunning. So let's get straight to it. So ricotta, beautiful fresh cheese that's there. Okay. In goes our chopped um, baby spinach, an egg, free range always. Yep, good binding agent. There we go. Grana Padano. Grana Padano. You the can use king. Parmesan if you really want to, right? It's the king of okay. all Parmesan. Okay. okay, just checking. We bring, we bring very extra. To be beer. honest, yeah, I find it quite pungent, but I prefer, I always prefer a Parmesan over a Grana Padano, but Grana Padano's got all the flavor in it. Exactly. So and look I at compromise. the other players in the bowl today. Very yes. mild flavor, so you want something that's kind of going to lead the orchestra. Boom. There Love we go. It. So a little bit of like flour. Like Caesar Stone leads the way in That's surfaces. true. They are actually the world leader in yeah. kitchen tops. Did so, you know that? I, I did know that. And what I learned the other day, actually, by shooting in Johannesburg for Winner Home, is that uh, estate agents list Caesar Stone as they're like, um, if it's in a house, they list it as like a value add to the property. So it like, increases the value of a home. So I'm going to install this I love that. Mine. So it comes with three bedrooms, a swimming pool, study. Oh, and Caesar yes, Stone exactly. tops. There we go. I love it. Good okay, stuff. cool. Cake flour's gone in there, a little bit of seasoning. That's just a little bit of salt in there. Cool. What you're going to do is you're going to mix it all together. You're going to create a nice, like, you're looking for a very rough paste, mm, yeah. okay? And the trick with, with any dumpling, with any pasta, you always want to really season your water really well. It has to be as salty as the Mediterranean Sea, okay? <laughs> listen, if you've got one hand busy doing this mixing, your other hand is definitely then going to be free. And if you want to get all the details for this recipe, use your other hand to send an SMS to 33650 using the keyword EAT, and you'll be receiving an SMS in return that'll give you all the details for this recipe. It's very, very simple. Send those on right now. It'll cost you 115. Your free SMSs do not apply. Okay, cool. With two spoons, what you're going to do is you're going to grab a little bit of the mixture, and you're gonna start slowly, like kind of just working the dumpling mixture back and oh, forth, wow, creating something called a quenelle. A quenelle. A quenelle. So okay. fancy. Just like that. And you're gonna drop it in your water. Okay, water bubbling a little too fast. Drop it in your water. Let it cook for about four minutes, and you're gonna take it out. So let me just swap pans around because I've got some that I've done earlier. Okay, so that's these ones you've got, yeah? Yes. Okay. And if you're wondering what is this beautiful pool of butter, it's gonna be our sauce. Okay, so to our butter that we've got bubbling away happily, basil. It's gonna be, it's gonna make a, like a popping noise, okay? Don't be scared. No, we like that. It almost makes them nice and crunchy and crispy, which I love about these. That's what, can, can you hear that popping? Mm. So is that where the burnt basil comes from? So it's a yes. burnt basil and butter um, nudie. There we go. Just like that. That's so if basil was thing. nudie and you burnt him, that's what he would be. It would be this dish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, cool. So just pop those nudie back into the butter. They're gonna crisp up slightly, but also oh, take delicious. on that butter flavor as the butter, butter also gets all the flavor of the basil. Wow, It's gonna yes. be amazing. It's Yum. awesome. It's kind of like the carb-free version of the tortellini we did earlier this week. Yeah. 
Still, delicious. Yeah, there we go. Still dine all the butter. So. And I don't know if you're like me, but I'm a terrible person when it comes to food because I'm so messy. I'm the messiest human being you'll ever meet. And I always used to have these chopping boards that, that I had at home that were made of wood. And they were the worst things for me because I used to get so much mess on them. And to try and clean that is impossible. These surfaces are the easiest to clean, and that's what makes it so awesome. It's heat resistant, stain proof, which is amazing for me because yeah. the viewers at home don't actually know how much I actually mess. No, we know how much you miss. Trust me, we know how much you miss. <laughs> Alright, okay. and then that's dinner served. Look at that. Delicious. It was so simple, so decadent, and honestly, this will impress your friends. It's something new, it's something different to try at home. And if you have done it, please send us photos. We'd love to see how you created your very own nudie. Please don't send us any other kind of nudie, Whoa. all right? Just these on the show today. And if you just tuned in and want to know how we made this delicious dish, here's a quick recap. Day, a suit was known as a power uniform. It was meant to convey size, strength, wealth, and a conservative, play by the rules lifestyle. In today's world of fashion, people tend to go for a more definitive tailoring, combining the casual and professional lifestyle and creating a new breed of jackets called the unstructured jacket. We have fabulous fashion director Kelly Fung with us in the loft as we talk about the unstructured jacket and how this has changed fashion. Welcome to Afternoon Express. Thank you for having me. You look gorgeous as always. As do you, with your unstructured jacket. I, yeah, well, let's talk jackets because right. they it's so hard to keep up with trends throughout the years and styles change and things come back into fashion. I struggle clearing out my wardrobe because I think, oh, this is probably going to come back in a while. <laughs> so, I mean, where are we now with jackets and how did the unstructured jacket come about? Well, firstly, don't throw anything away because things come and go and they recycle and you see what was coming from the 80s is now back again. Yeah. Um, the jacket has, has such a prominent place in, in fashion history. I mean, you started way back in the 1800s where things were really tailored and, and jackets were such a formality. I mean, you would have your coattails and then you would change to your dinner jacket, which was slightly more casual than... I mean, it's not casual by any means in this day and age, but yeah. it was at the time. <laughs> um, and they've, it's, it's kind of ev evolutionized throughout the times. Um, you, you think about the, the Miami Vice, the Don kind Johnson. Of, yeah, the white <laughs> suit jacket, and which is a little pink. bit more casual. Yeah. And wear it with a t shirt. And, um, and then, of course, for women, there was the, the iconic Le Smoking jacket from Yves Saint Laurent. I mean, um, I love and that. And it was a bit more tailored, exactly. I want to be that woman when I look at I that I mean, she jacket. is so slick. It was oh. all about that slick tailoring and, and, and lifting in the waist and um, strong shoulders. Yeah. And then as it went along, I mean, 80, they, there's the smoking, the smoking jacket. I mean, that's smoking hot. Which is slick, slick, slick. So you say <laughs> Laurent owns that. Um, but as we've gone along, you know, when women are now having to do so much more, men and women, actually, we have a very busy lifestyle. Jackets have have become a little bit more easy, uh, fabric's more breathable, there's more, more mobility in jackets. So while I think not taking away from the polish that is jackets, it, is, it seems to be a little bit more casual, a little bit, yeah. as you say, unstructured. Yeah. Now, when looking at the unstructured jacket, how would that style change between, for men or for women? Well, I think for men, um, the, the jacket really hasn't 
completely changed too much. I think you know the the, the shape maybe has gotten a bit looser. They it, buttons have been played around with the experimentation with fabrics, um, but the shape has always been there from when it was incredibly tailored um, to when people would loosen the button to now things being with maybe with softer linen. Uh, whereas women, it's done 360 flip flops, 180s. Um, starting again with this kind of uh, formal uh, shape, yeah. then going completely nipped in at the waist. Stunning. Especially in the 80s when it was all about being a power woman and your shoulders were big and your, your waist was small. Yeah. Um, and now you're seeing something completely, I mean, they're taking a little bit more from the masculine side, borrowed from the boys. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, shapes are slightly looser, maybe more masculine, a little bit more oversized. Um, and again, because women are living these really busy lives, you have to be able to, to live and wear your clothes. Yeah, well, I'm just being conservative for TV. Otherwise, I'd wear the jacket as a dress. I mean, <laughs> you know, you can go from work to drinks. Exactly. <laughs> so why is it important to have a good jacket or a good unstructured jacket in your capsule wardrobe? Well, I think it's all about polish, really. It's um, an effortless polish at that. Now that it's gone unstructured, it doesn't have to feel restrictive. Yeah. Um, but it really does just... It's like the cherry on the top of an outfit of maybe an otherwise relaxed outfit. You can yeah. just add a jacket on to go to drinks um, after work, or you can put a jacket on to, be it, to put your power outfit on for, your, yeah. for those meetings in work. You know? Well, this conversation has totally inspired me to look at my jackets in a different yeah. way. But now, what must I look for when buying a good jacket to know that it's going to be a keeper, you know, a classic that you can keep in your wardrobe? Yes. Well, I think beyond good fabrication and mo mobility, what, what is what we said, and versatility, I think fit is so important. I think that is where um, you, there's, you'll see a difference between a, a, like a hot mess <laughs> and something that actually pulls every, your, your outfit together, which yeah. is that polish that we were speaking about. Yeah. So fit tailoring, the fitting in your shoulders, the right length for your body type. Are you an, a structured or an unstructured girl? Should it go into your waist? Should it not? Um, play around with those shapes, and I think you'll find the one that works with you and will last forever. You are wonderful. Thank you so <laughs> much for telling us about the jackets. Thank you. So good to have you here. Now, the clothes we wear are a reflection, really, of ourselves to the outside world, so they matter. Let's find out how the Siemens avant-garde washing machine ensures to keep our sample pieces in wearable condition. The Siemens avant-garde machine is really state-of-the-art, but how user-friendly is it? Siemens does a lot of research and development of how uh, consumer-centric our machines are. This machine has a full LCD display, which is extremely easy to use. Even you'll be able to use it. <laughs> I'm sure I will be. And what detergent would you recommend? Siemens recommends using Skip Auto Detergent. It really works the best in our washing machines and it will ensure that your clothes are always looking beautiful. Now with a lot of blazers and corporate jackets, they stipulate that you've got to have them dry cleaned. But with the softer ones, you can actually wash them at home. The unstructured jacket is normally made from a cotton and linen and we have the perfect program for this. Our cotton cycle can wash up to 60 degrees, which will wash your jacket thoroughly. The program will also maintain both the color and the shape of your unstructured jacket, making it look perfect. Skip Auto wants you to love what you are wearing. It's specially designed to thoroughly clean and take care of the fibers and fabrics, leaving garments looking like new for longer. Skip together with Siemens want to make sure your capsule wardrobe lives up to any occasion. Remember, when you are proud of what you wear, you are guaranteed to look fabulous. Skip loves your clothes as much as you do. All you fashion fanatics, stay right where you are because after the break, as promised, the legendary Gavin Raja showcases some of his latest collection for us. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're live on SABC3 on this Thursday afternoon. And I'd like to remind you how you can win with us on the show. Every Friday on Afternoon Express, it's Winner Home, SA's premier interior design reality competition, proudly brought to you by Private Property. And if you vote for your favorite design duo, you stand a chance of winning the grand prize, which is a home at the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate, with finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone, and premier appliances by Grundig, to the total value of three million million rand. You also automatically get entered into a winning the grand, pri well one of the bi-weekly prizes in our giveaway. And the latest prize up for grabs is a Sealy Queen mattress and base set valued at 14999. So get your entries in now. Watch Winner Home on Afternoon Express and follow three talented design duos as they transform three empty houses into fully decorated luxury homes, one of which you could win. And they've locked me out. Danilo is not allowed into our house. We don't want to hear anything of anything. The rail's too long for the curtain. Something short, something's long, and we need to make them fit. Take a look. No, 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 Danilo, you can't come in. Our white carpet is in. Don't miss Win a Home Fridays at 4 p.m. on Afternoon Express. The stage is yours. Now, earlier we sat down with fashion icon Gavin Raja, who recently added a homeware range to his arsenal. And of course, his first love is still fashion. And today he's brought some of his new collection along to show us. Do you want to, have, do you want to tell us a little bit about this collection? Yeah, what inspired um, it? So let's have a look at this first dress. So oh no, oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. So it's a, a little bit of suiting. And I think for the, for the season, we, you know, everything's a little bit dapper and it's kind of a slight dandy. Yes. feel to everything so you know you could have a very tailored kind of jacket and suit and we're about to launch a such a real collection of tailoring and then just kind of have a very fun blouse so you don't have to spend all your money on just you know being a fashion victim you can just buy one thing yeah. and add it to a black suit and so what we're really showing is a kind of slight masculine look with the elongated kind of jacket slightly boxy but very, still very nipped into the waist I love and this. a very kind of narrow leg. I love um, how it pushes the neck up like that. It's so regal. Mm. Yes, it it's, uh, it's kind of makes uh, plastic surgeons' jobs easier, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and this is so dreamy. So again, very evening. So it's very true to our kind of signature of very strong evening pieces, lots of couture, and that's entirely being hand beaded. Wow. The fabric's not done by machine and. It's kind of ombre shaded. Mm. Um, each, you know, so the blues are very, blue is quite a big signature color for the season coming up. But also there's a kind of hark back to a kind of 70s era. It's almost like you'd want to see Diana Ross wearing something mm. like that. So gorgeous, yeah. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, so, yeah, very sexy and a little bit of flesh. The arms fan out a bit like that, they're gorgeous. Yeah, so that's, mm. uh, a, you know, a signature kind of bat wing color. Yes. This season, um, lots of strong one shoulder silhouettes. Uh, again, also I very 70s kind of inspires, almost uh, kind of very dreamy, inspired by constellations, slightly mythical kind of feel to it. Yes. Um, and velvets are huge, so yeah. everything which has got a very tactile, sensual kind of feel about things. Beautiful. Maleficent just, kind of vibe. Yeah. yeah. I just love how you've got such an amazing understanding of a woman's body because you always highlight the most, you know, the elegant parts and the most mm. feminine. Yeah, I mean, I think what we want to do as designers or, um, and certainly the brand is that, you know, I love women who are very strong and they own their space. But I don't feel that being feminine needs to compromise any of that. Right. I yeah. mean, I think in the past, you know, people had these stereotypes of women who are very strong, very empowered, need to kind of be a little demure, and I don't, I, I feel yeah. quite oh, the opposite. opposite. Yeah. Um, so lots of structure, you know, very simple, but very kind of tailored. So love that. Um, I love this. For yeah. us, again, loads of uh, loads of detailing, you know, very subtle detail, and also very modern. So you know, you could take something which is traditionally very almost bridal inspired and make it slightly... What colour is the lining underneath that? Darker? So it's black, yeah. Wow, so, I love that. And I, the reason I, we put a black lining is um, quite often dresses like this, you know, if you really want to be running oh, through the, the bushes yes, and, yes. and trailing around things, it tends to kind of pick up dirt or it gets a little bit dirty. Gee, the detail. And I love a pocket on a dress yeah. like that. 
Yeah, so the structure mm. was very important yeah. for us in this season. So there's either, very, you know, again, it's, uh, it's, a, it's about celebrating feminine form. I'm going to wear that to one of my weddings. Uh, <laughs> one well, of your weddings. <laughs> we can't wait. So. <laughs> very whimsical. Yeah, yes, exactly, with the hair piece. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, so a lot of softness, a lot of structure, again, playing into our strengths, which are lots of hand beading, and you can say lots of crystal kind of detail, but again, very subtle hints are kind of a merry modern kind of thing. So, you know, there's elements of sport luxe into it, so there's little yeah. belts and things like that, which are metallic and they're engraved. Um, and the soft, and, and you know, juxtaposed with the, with the tulle. Again, loads of buttons down the back, and again, for us, that's the, uh, you know, signature of a couture kind of statement piece. But everything that's done by hand, it's crafted by hand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's Gorgeous. really what I think of when I think of, you know, Gavin Raja Couture. It's quality, 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 and attention to detail that is just so mm. outstanding. And great craftsmanship. Mm. Beautiful. So, yeah, bold statement pieces for the season. Yes. And with your interior, do you, mm. what, what kind of concepts are you playing around with at the moment? Uh, so, for the interior, also, what I thought uh, one has to do is that, you know, again, I'm not, um, I wanted people to buy even if it's just one area or one piece of it. Yeah. And uh, it could fit into their existing kind of space. But it, the focus for this season is strongly about sleep. And it's really about how sleep is so nourishing towards our mm. lifestyles, mm. our health, uh, you know, our skin, everything. Uh, but in, in, a, in this kind of day and age, one really needs to create one's own kind of cocoon, which is very nurturing, you know. Yeah. Um, so it's re really down to everything, the feel of things against one's skin, you Absolutely. know, uh, being enveloped by things. Um, so the bed linen is really in, being inspired by two things for the season, largely kind of French, one French architectural and the other one by a period in France, which is La Belle Epoque, which is actually also inspired, by, uh, this collection inspired by that, which is a period where the term couture came into being. Um, mm -hmm. So it was a period that just preceded the First World War. Um, and so there's lots of attention to detail, um, super kind of, um, I, I just wanted people when they bought it to kind of be enveloped by a sense of being spoiled, them yeah. spoiling themselves, you know, and linen is one of those things is that, you know, if you think about how much of time you spend in your bed, hopefully, your bed, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you want to be kind of cocooned and you want to be nurtured and you want to have a space to just kind of breathe. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely going shopping after this to buy Gavin Raj's oh, entire no. collection. You once gave me a candle and it was, it's one of my favorite candles. Danilo, do you want to come and join us on the couch? Because unfortunately we almost... Up done and dusted. Time. Yeah. And I'm and waiting dusted. for the men's way. <coughs> Just saying. Uh, <laughs> coming soon. Okay, Thank great. you so Thank much you. for spending the day with us. Thanks it's been for such a treat us. having you. And congratulations and best of luck with your new collection. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, thank you so much at home for joining us. Yeah. And yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> same time, same place for Winner Home. Indeed, we're giving away a three million rand home and you better stay tuned. It's going to be absolutely epic. The drama tomorrow with those design contestants. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you then. Good night. <laughs> Happy eating. Bye. <laughs>